Hi, my name is Ray Eves, and this is the ninth video in this series on the Armex. Please go back and view the previous eight videos to fully comprehend today's lecture. Today's video is entitled Armex Have Returned to Reclaim Their Land, so go back to Europa. Her Highness Verdiachi Tiari Washita to Gaston El Bay, born May 14, 1927, is the reigning empress of the Washita nation. She is the legal heir to the Mason Rouge land grants that were willed to her great grandfather, Henry Turner, the son of the Marquise de Mason Rouge, a Frenchman, and a Washoe woman, Anna. In the case of the United States versus the Turner's heir of 1848-80, the United States District Court actually went to court to try to take the land called the District of Louisiana, owned by the heirs of Henry Turner. United States District Court lost. The land was granted to the ears of Henry Turner. The Washita Nation had since have since January 8, 1992, reclaimed 68,883 acres of their land with the help of the Empress Verdiachi Tiari Washita to Nagastan Elbe. The Yamasi tribe is a branch of the Washita Moors, the mound builders. They are also reclaiming their land by way of Dr. Malachi Z. York through his grandfather, Ben York. Ben York is or was the given name of the son of Yusuf Ben Ali, also called Abdullah Ibn Ali, born 1756 through 1861 AD, and a Washoe woman named Sharufa Salim Idris of the Idrisid dynasty, who were Moorish Malians. The Idrisid dynasty was the first Arab rulers of the whole of Morocco. They are descendants of Bilal, son of Rabah, and Hamama, an Ethiopian Moor born 1551 A.D. through 641 A.D. The Idrisid held power in Morocco from 789 A.D. to 926 A.D. The Yamasi originally resided in Georgia. However, when the Spanish settlers pushed them out by imposing regulations and unfair trading, the Yamasi moved to the Carolinas and became valuable allies to the British who eventually betrayed them just like the Spanish. The British cheated the Yamasi by taking and their land and never paying for it. This and more resulted in the Yamasi uprising of 1715 AD. But now the one with the proven bloodline from the Yamasi to the Malian Moors to the Almex is here to reclaim that land which is the whole of Georgia just for starters. All the confiscated land must be returned to its rightful owners, the Almex and their descendants. A pep, your time, the moon cycle, has ended since September 9, 1999, 80, and now the sun cycle is in. Eventually, no amount of sunblock will protect you. You will have to be a descendant of the original Elohim gods who were Ethereans before they took bodily forms, creating the pineal gland to produce melanin 
necessary to change the sun's rays from deadly to energy, all within nine to the ninth power of nine, which is supreme mathematics. You must return to your own natural environment. Europa is situated the optimal distance from the sun to support and protect melanin recessive beings. Earth belongs to the melaninite, Nitiru, Anunnaki, gods, nine ether beings, black amours, negroes. Archaeology has proven this beyond the shadow of a doubt. Your inevitable return to your home world is for your protection as the sun burns its way in and purifies. For earth will not be destroyed this time by water, but by fire. The great ball of fire, a massive meteorite, followed by showers controlled by the Nitiru, will hit the planet. Nuwabians will not be consumed by the resulting fire. No. Nuwabians, nine ether beings, will be transformed into etheric beings in the twinkling of an eye, turned inside out. Or as 1 Corinthians 15, 52 states, the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. This, our sacred destiny, is recorded in the Nuwabian sacred records of Natir Atumri. It is our sacred destiny, then in the past, then in the future, which is the best kept secret, our departure, from the heavenly skies to the planet Earth and our eventual return. These records were given to us, Nuwabians, by our appointed Supreme Grand Master, Dr. Malachi Ziyok, known in ancient times as Murduk, the champion of the Anutu, or Anunnaki, who was given sovereignty over the whole universe as recorded in the Enuma Elish. This is Melchizedek of all the holy prophets. Anu has sent him to give good tidings to, be, to prepare a way straight for Sananda, the real Messiah. In his scroll called the Scroll of Malachi, he is known as Murduk or Marduk or Amar Utu, or Azag, or Amun Nubi Ru'achta, the grandson of the Most High El, the Heavenly One, Anu. He is the warring angel, an Aluhum, whose name, Mikael, means who dares to be like El. He is a repeated incarnation from shell to shell, who fights on behalf of Anu, Alun Alun El, the Most High. So, any claim alleging to have held this Melchizedek in captivity for the past 10 years is absolutely, totally preposterous, absurd. No, no, no. You may have a dub a double unit body, if anything, in your possession, but definitely not Mikael, the warring angel. How stupid can you be a pep? As quoted in the ancient Egyptian Book of the Dead, may I advance upon Tiamat, the planet Earth? May I smike the ass? May I crush the evil one, Shaitan, may I destroy a pep, the serpent, at his moment, unquote. You see, world, Melchizedek 
or Mel as we call him, is the Anutu, Anunnaki. These are beings from an advanced society that have surpassed the people on the surface of the earth in technology. They built the laboratory bases on the surface of the planet Mars and on the planet Earth, which were both called Shimti. These bases were renamed Sidonia and Egypt, respectively. The Anunnaki have created what is called Star Gateway, where they can step through and interdimensionally transport themselves. So, saying that you captured Melchizedek is like a slug, an earthworm capturing a black eagle. Enough is enough. Just go home. The Nitir Tihuti, his doctrine of cause and effect embodies the fact that there is a cause for every effect, an effect for every cause. However, in Revelation 18.6, Michael Melchizedek said, Babylon will be rewarded double unto her double according to her works. Double of double equals four times. You will receive four times what you did to us. So do yourself a favor, pack your stuff and go home. That is better for you if you only but knew. This ends today's video. We hope you have learned something from this video. We urge you to share this video and to subscribe to the only channel where you will learn true ancient Egyptian mysteries. No more lies, no more guesswork. So subscribe, share. Thank you until we meet at the next video.